so cold in Hyderabad. We've been recognized. Ah, let me show you. Check this out, guys. As usual, three, two, one. Living his passion. That's an article about me on Tech and Chronicle. This is a huge deal for me. I mean, I've been reading this paper since my childhood, and I've never imagined that I'm gonna be here, like this. It's like out of this world. I seriously cannot exhibit my expression, my emotion right now on the camera, but man, I'm so damn happy. I mean, how wonderful is it to just wake up early in the morning, just go down and, you know, generally casually take out the paper and then I've been reading this paper since like almost 20 years, 25 years now and, <sighs> and obviously it feels so nice, right? I know some of you guys are thinking that I'm overacting and all that. I don't care guys because because I'm bloody sure that as an artist, if you're an artist, you'll understand. If your passion, if your art gets recognized like this, that's like a whole different level. Anyways guys, right now I'll not be taking this too much into my head and stop my work. This is like more, you know, more and more motivation to me and I'll not stop working at all. No looking back. Now it's just the beginning and today's 5th, 4th, 4th January. This, this paper has been published uh, yesterday. I'm making this video today. And man, that's an amazing start for a new year. I just need support from you people. I'll anyways keep following my passion like really hardcore. All I need is the same love and support from you people which you always give me. No doubt about that. Anyways guys, for now I have two more things to do. Important. I'll quickly just take a shower now and I'll see you guys. Let's go. As you can see, I'm here. I'm here in the terrace and I usually do this every day, especially in winters, guys. It's so cold right now. Let me show you the temperature. Right now, the temperature is around 15 or 16 degrees. Otherwise, usually it goes to 13 degrees in the morning and especially in winters, what I do is I take a shower and I come up to the terrace. I take some sun, you know, the heat. It feels so nice and comforting for me. That doesn't mean that I hate winters. I love winters. Man, I love winters like crazy. The only thing is it's so damn cold this time in Hyderabad. It seems, it seems it's so cold that Hyderabad, mein, it was this cold. Like 10 or 15 years back and they are predicting that it's gonna be a hot hot summer this time but buri baat ye hai ki we cannot ride in summer anyways right now is the time to ride and that is also one of the main reasons i love winters you know you have all this see clear clear blue skies and and it's not even like really hot so it's the perfect time for riding anyways talking about riding guys as i've told you guys in my previous video that i'll be riding that i'm gonna ride this month that will be in the second week of jan and i'm very 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 excited about this particular ride because i'm gonna ride to pune which is the first time i'll be visiting maharashtra but 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 unfortunately a lot of you people a lot of my dear subscribers told me not to come to pune not to come to maharashtra this month because there are a lot of issues going on and some strikes are going on so so unfortunately maybe we'll wait till 10th of jan in case nothing settles actually the situation is under control as per the news today 6 jan 2018 and as of date the situation is kind of under control let's see for another three four days if it is not under control then maybe then maybe unfortunately we'll have to change our riding plan and go elsewhere which i really don't want to do guys i mean everything is booked now only thing is we'll have to take a loss now and man i wanted to see lonavla and all these places so much so i hope everything settles soon at least by the time we ride hope for the best also guys i have two issues with my bike one is not an issue but one is kind of an issue well the first issue is that before going to the gandikota trip i told you guys that the rail brake fluid is less and after that i went to gandikota trip and came back that is like 600 kilometers approximately the oil has reduced a little bit more usually that is a sign of a wear in the rail brake pad i'm not sure guys i'll have to take the bike to the showroom and get it checked and coming to the second thing it is not an issue i wanted to fix a charger to the bike yes guys luckily the xr variant gets a port a cigarette charger kind of a port but 
it's triumph you need to buy triumph products right the cigarette charger port is very thin compared to your car charger and in order to get a triumph charger or a third party charger that goes into that port it will cost me at least 3000 bucks which i don't think it makes sense you see this is this is the charger i need to get i'm not sure if this is focusing but and this charger costs 4,130 4, bucks. I don't think it makes sense. So what I'm going to do is. Okay, it's not working. Okay, it's So guys, I just unboxed this Bolt charger and there's nothing very complicated in this. Inside the box, you have this one, the main unit of the Bolt Red Streak. It's pretty light and pretty simple. Basic plastic, it doesn't feel cheap. And this is the part where you can hook this onto the handle. So yeah, let's go quickly fix this and get the tiger ready for the next ride. Oh yeah, before that, one more part, which is not important, but again, new people will keep asking me what is the third part. You get a phone pouch in the box itself. You can just uh, put your phone inside this i think this is kind of waterproof or maybe water resistant i'm not sure anyways i don't think this is required for me because i have my tank bag and i just slip the phone into the tank bag <laughs> i'll just have to put these two terminals to the battery here and i'll have to find a place to run this wire so that i can put this one on the handlebar one thing I've realized with Triumph is everything is like jam packed, you know, you don't have place to insert wires also. Especially if you want to drive wires from the handle towards the battery. Triumph packs everything like really close. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to put the bolt charger somewhere here. Just take a look. I'm going to put it here or here or here. I need to check. <laughs> I think I'm gonna face the bolt charger like downwards so that water doesn't seep into the ports. Bolt, I have one question for you. Doesn't water go and short circuit the terminals? I always had that doubt with bolt. Just to be sure, I'll just face this. I'll just face this one downwards like this so that water doesn't get into the terminals, you know. I'll just tighten it and I'm done. <laughs> So finally I fixed the bolt charger and now the bike is complete, almost complete. But I'll be getting the panniers and top box and all that stuff later, maybe mid 2018. Triumph Tiger especially, it's got like literally hundreds and hundreds of accessories. Just go and Google, you'll understand what I'm talking about. The only thing I was really missing in my previous rides on the Tiger is a charging point. I had one on the Benelli 600i, never had an issue with that. Anyways guys, in case you people are interested to buy this product, I'll put a link in the description. You can just go click on it and buy it straight away from the website itself. Especially if you're someone who tours a lot. So guys, so that's about it and uh, my hand here is like really paining now i'm using this phone car light because there's very little light in this room you know these are all the problems that vloggers face ah. anyways guys i hope you people enjoy this video in case you like this video you know what to do just go and smash the like button also do subscribe follow me on instagram as well for all my live updates i think instagram is the best place because that is the place where i can instantly tell you what's happening especially when i'm traveling that will be the best thing so please do go and follow me on instagram ah. so guys bye bye take care